Hi, I'm Jasmine with the Dallas Entertainment Journal, and I am here with Janelle Monae. Hello. And I just had the pleasure of listening to your new album, well, parts of your new album. Yes, a few songs. What's going to make this different from your last two albums? Well, I, you know, never go into creating work to recreate any of my previous work. So by nature, it's different. Mm -hmm. It's a different album, different time. Um, I have, you know, some amazing collaborations on The Electric Lady. I got the chance to collaborate with Dallas's own Miss Erica Badu. Love her. She's a friend of mine. I love her so much. She's such an amazing artist. And to have her on Queen, our song together, uh, was just a dream come true. I got the opportunity. And she's an Electric Lady. Absolutely. Uh, which is the name of my album, The Electric Lady, Sweets 4 and 5, a continuation of a concept album. How was it like working with Prince and some of those icon mm -hmm. iconic musicians? Yeah, I've worked with some amazing musicians uh, based out of Atlanta, Georgia. I brought in live instrumentation. I worked with the orchestra as well and had some amazing string players. But Prince is a friend of, uh, of mine. And still, I'm still pinching myself, you know. Did we really get a chance to do a song? It's unreal. Like because he doesn't collaborate with people. He um, often or mm -hmm. get on you know their albums and to pr produce him was just a dream come true. So he's very much so supportive of you know this time of my career and women in general. And he wants to continue to see me lead. And mm -hmm. you know I own my own recording label, the Wonderland Art Society. So when he found that out, he was just like you know really excited about the whole concept of uh, there being. Um, an artist who you know runs their own recording label and so he was like I want to help in whatever way so he's a friend but I, I do keep our relationship you know kind of private uh, I asked a question like this are we a lost generation of our people add us to equations but they'll never make us equal she who writes the movie on the script in the sequel so why ain't the stealing of my rights what's something spe specific about your fans that you really enjoy I think that I uh, well I don't want to marginalize them because they come in so many different shapes sizes ethnicities, people come around the world. I mean, my goal with music, which is a universal language and brings in so many people, is to unite. Mm -hmm. So that's what I love is that when, when I call them uh, fan droids, <laughs> and, and they're like family though, you know, when they get in a room, they're very much so, you know, networking with each other and like, where are you from? Okay, where are you from? They have this whole online site called the fan droids and they get together and they really uplift each other, they support. Um, each other's projects. Mm -hmm. uh, when if some if they're trying to defend me or somebody, let's say somebody says I don't like Janelle Monae's music, they'll speak out of love and out of kindness. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about them is that they take cues from me, which is to love thy neighbor as you would do yourself, which is to um, you know not speak out of hate and not discriminate against people, but be very inviting and loving and celebrating our differences and celebrating the things that make us all unique. Awesome. Well, you have so much just inspiring things to say. I really enjoy talking with you. Thank, Thank you so you. much, Janelle. Thank you. Thank you. God bless.